Mustard is just liquefied seeds. No, you heard it here first. Mustard is cum. Finally I can refer to myself as the cum guzzler. Hi this raises a lot of questions. Questions such as why are you guzzling mustard and why would you want to call yourself that? And why do you need a reason to call yourself that? Now you can officially call that weird mustard water that sometimes comes out of the bottle mustard pre-cum. Jeff Bezos divorced, Bill Gates divorced, I'm sensing a trend here, they hate unions. This Dairy Queen installed a door just for kids, if they think I won't crawl through that crap they got another thing coming. Me procrastinating, I hope somebody kills me before this is due. Someone, what are your plans for the weekend, me? The nose, me, I know, me, I'm not leaving the house. Does anyone want to join my midnight shovel club? We walk around the streets at midnight with shovels. All of y'all did not grow up ugly stop lying and co-opting the ugly experience you frauds. Boy yo head big as crap. Making a selection from the sock drawer. Hey best is friendly reminder to drink water, feed your lab rats, turn off your evil nuclear generator, change out of your dirty lab coat, go for a walk and take care of yourself, evil scientist 3, evil scientist 3, evil scientist 3, scene wake up. Evil scientist 3, evil scientist 3, evil scientist 3, evil scientist 3, scene the reactor. I hate get eyelashes in my eyes why our were supposed to protect me. When a guy gives you his number and says you're probably not gonna call anyway. True ho ho. Europe. Americans are so uncivilized and violent. Also Europe whenever someone scores a goal in soccer. Finger is a noun. Finger is a verb. Okay this is a serious debate, no it's really not. Plane, leaves at 10pm, my parents at 6am, on your feet soldier, we are leaving. I'll have to move to a new city, start a new boating school with a new name, no, not again, I'm pretty sure Miss Us Puff killed her husband. Ordering cake over phone. And what would you like the cake to say? Cover's phone to ask wife, do we want a talking cake? Hey dad have you seen my sunglasses? Dad, no son have you seen my dad glasses? Being a restaurant server is a tough job, but it puts food on the table. LMAO I'm not allowed to watch horror movies but since I'm an 11 year old psychopath I still need the gore to start and end my day. Not to start a discourse but if today is your birthday then happy birthday. Um some of us already had birthdays, but way to be an exclusionist lol go off. This is what I was trying to avoid, I'm sorry. The pupil cam cargo shorts. We have to put you in the hourglass again I'm sorry we all had a meeting about it and we decided we hate you and you are going to be put in an hourglass. Pitter patter patter patter, you look down and see this. So many notes people confused by corn wielding Kalima dog wait until you see the dancing figures, blow your mind, teach you true love. Humankind, what more can I say, I can only aspire to have such deep and rich a human connection with anyone in this life that will be as radiant as a ceramic figure or pair of dancing zalas. Nothing even matters anymore when you change the font to Times New Roman make it 12 point and double space that crap. It's so pretty I'm going to kiss my research paper with tongue. I'm at the science facility getting pumped full of super soldier chemicals. It's cum or whatever. Sure okay frick it. They're pumping me full of cum. I guess that's the post. Who freaking cares at this point right? Say for example you took me to your best friend's house, and let's say hypothetically, you love me then and you love me now. 
when Talking Heads said there is water at the bottom of the ocean, like yes there is girl. Normalize being out of the loop, like what is even going on lol. I was talking with the gnomes and they don't even think you are worth playing whimsical little tricks and japes on. Did you know capybaras hatch from tangerines and they are called kappa babies pretty cool huh? I'm being serious every time you reblog this a hostage dies. La 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 frolicking. OMG la 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 yay yeah, yay yeah, yeah, chases you. Life is just about art of people holding each other actually, that's it. I feel like people don't appreciate how hard I've worked to strike the perfect balance between self-deprecating humor and very exaggerated vanity. My Shrekshul preference is people who are too hot for me. The real reason Howl kept his castle moving was tax evasion. This sounds like a joke but I read the book this is the literal reason. And in the movie he's trying to avoid the draft, he just does not want to help the government. Acid isn't what gets you high, that's just what happens when you put paper in your mouth. I have eaten paper and other items, pencils, pens, markers, pebbles, for my entire life and I can tell you with certain that this is misinformation. If you eat paper you will not feel the effects of LSD and anyone who tells you otherwise is Twitter user, this MF eating pens. I will not download TikTok, if a TikTok is funny enough it will breach containment and make its way onto another platform, it's quality control. So my boyfriend doesn't know a lot about Lord of the Rings and was asking why it was so hard to destroy the ring and I said it corrupted the ring Boros and made them evil and even proximity to the ring can turn you evil as it did briefly with Boromir and after some careful thought he decided that the 9 members of the fellowship should each have a super long string attached to the ring and they could drag it behind them from really far so it won't affect them and make Legolas always watch it with his elf eyes to make sure it's okay back there and like. That might work. Did he solve it? I'm so mad. I want more overgrown ruins to explore and if I have to make them myself then so be it. This makes me picture someone aggressively planting vines around a family dollar that closed down two weeks ago. Life is good again. Ordered something online. Life is bad again. Account was charged. Life is good again. Package arrived. What do you think about Nike coming out with a hijab specifically for exercising and would you consider wearing buying one? Everything is ruined I'm shaking I used my hijab as an excuse not to exercise now what am I gonna do? In a fit of anger, you track down the demon who stole your body, turns out a dragon stole their body, a pixie stole the dragon's body, a unicorn stole the pixie's body, and it's going to be a long afternoon, I thought the fetch quests ended in the first half of my adventure. So my new English professor is my uncle only he has no idea because he hasn't talked to my mom in about 20 years so do you think I should tell him? You know what never mind he's a dick I'm going to talk to my mom to get dirt on him so I can blackmail him if the need arises. You should write a story about a boy for an assignment and include loads of life details about him that your mom tells you so that it's obviously him but change all the names then hand it in and be really confused if he questions you about it. Oh my god. Power move. Boil up some Mountain Dew. It's gonna be a long night. You could have said anything else. Cauldron boil and cauldron bubble. Badger blast to fuel my trouble. The worst part about studying languages is knowing that you will never be nearly as good at it as a literal baby. The only reason babies are better at language learning is because it's their full time job and they don't get embarrassed. If you, a teenaged or adult human, wasn't embarrassed and could study language full time you would learn way faster than a baby. In my defense, babies receive more positive reinforcement than I do as well. Babies will say ha ba ba da ba ha and all the adults around them will be like really wow. That is so interesting great job and then what happened? Also people who are alike I've been studying for a year and I only have an 8 year old's grasp of the language. How long do you think it took the 8 year old? Not knowing how to spell a word but playing it off and misspelling it really bad so it looks intentional like hey when are you meeting us at the restaurant? 
my fave trope is arrogant bastard who's socially much higher than the protagonist but then he experiences a social downfall and now he has to hang out with the protagonist and his cringe gang. Plus points if he's dramatic about it while the others don't care. MFW I'm Chad but I have psychological problems so I'm stuck here with you dumb virgins. End game spoilers, they have been avenged, did they end the game, they ended the game, the later this ends up on your dash the funnier it is. Welcome be our guest, these skeletons look legitimately friendly and inviting, I don't know about you guys but I'm hella stoked to kick it with these skeletons. I was sitting in a restaurant, some time after my order arrived a waiter sat at my table and started eating my food, I felt very insulted and just left, guys I got a new idea for a restaurant. Hello Mr. Forest Boy, what's up Mr. House Wolf, free boobs today, my lucky day friendo, being alive is heck and swell. 5 ish rexels are playing cards. One starts to explain the rules. I'd say no cheating but there are already 5 aces at the table. Just a reminder that apparently anybody who isn't ace cheats. This literally says the aces are cheating. Because, you can't have 5 aces in a deck. It's the opposite of the second comment. Reading comprehension on this site is piss poor. How dare you say aces piss on the poor. Sometimes I think it would be beneficial to my self growth to get loose in a K for 7 days, surviving on moisture algae and my own thoughts until I find a dim light against the black stone and make my escape, I think I'd figure some crap out in a cave like that. That is weirdly specific, well getting lost in a masses wouldn't be as tricked up. I hope you find someone that mindlessly plays with your hands and lightly strokes your legs and massages your back and plays with your hair and I hope that you feel like you're home when you look at them. Broke, I'm a Shrek shell. Boring. Straight to the point. Some people don't know what a Shrek shell means. Woke. This bloodline ends with me. Interesting. Knocks your listeners. Makes you sound like an anime protagonist. In the name of, finger me in the name of cardiology, that works too. All us Italians should form a group together, have our own territory and government too. I think Italian land would be a good name for it. OMG I have a flag idea. Netflix make, this, happen. One of the best things about teaching middle school is that they're young enough to see me as an authority figure despite the fact that I'm pretty young for a teacher but they're old enough to understand and laugh at the concept of phases, and what I'm really getting at here is that I lost control of my classroom for a couple of minutes today because I told them that I had an emo phase when I was their age. Judging by the amount of shrieking in the room you'd think I was torturing them but really it was because I told them my favorite band at the time was Evanescence. A man sued his employer for racial discrimination, settled the suit, took the settlement check to the bank to cash it, then the bank didn't believe the check was real and called the cops on him, leading to another racial discrimination lawsuit, is this a key and peel sketch, this country is unreal, infinite money glitch. Modern life is just a ceaseless barrage of employment housework budgeting Netflix phone calls health insurance mems emergency savings fear of aging vacuuming childhood nostalgia gross realists career goals hopes for the future zombie scrolling existential dread deciding what to cook for dinner followed by more Netflix and that's just Tuesday. Good. It's Sunday. God please today is the Lord's day. He can have it. I took a crap and my grandma's cat's litter box when I was like 13 and my whole family was wilding out trying to figure out why the cat took such a huge dump. Then they took her to the vet and we found out she has feline HIV so in a way, I helped her. This story was wild from start to finish. Get his ass is such an inherently funny phrase. It's like sick M boys but personal. Howdy folks, I hope that you all enjoyed episode 239 of Top Tumblr Memes. If you did, feel free to drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And if you're able to go the extra mile in supporting myself and supporting the channel, feel free to click the join button next to the subscribe button and become a channel member. I would really appreciate that as well. Um, as always, thank you all for your responses to yesterday's question of the day. In general, with... Um, uh, 
how much interaction the the videos have been getting in terms of likes and comments I've seen like substantial growth so I really appreciate any and all comments on the videos uh, I saw one comment the other day that was like why is my forehead so tan and I didn't realize it until I was filming but like my forehead is weirdly the tannest part of me like isn't that kind of odd I don't really understand it maybe it's the lighting I don't know no I think it's just my forehead's very tan and I don't and when I go outside I wear hats so I feel like that would be the opposite of what would be tan yeah so uh, but just in general, I really appreciate all the comments that I've been getting. Um, so thank you all very much. We're almost to 13,000 subscribers. So if you are one of like the 46% or so of people that haven't subscribed, uh, feel free to. I encourage you to click the subscribe button and help us get past 13,000. Uh, I'd really appreciate that. Happy 4th of July, by the way. I'm wearing red because I don't have a red, white, and blue shirt, but I thought I'd at least wear red. Um, and for today's question of the day, I want to know what your family's 4th of July tradition is. Um, if you have one, I'd be curious to know what you all usually do on 4th of July. Normally for us, we have family over and we grill in the backyard and then do some fireworks and like little showers and like the, the fountain fireworks and sparklers. And that's about it. Nothing, nothing huge. Um, but let me know what, what, let me know what you all end up doing for 4th of July. Uh, I look forward to hearing it. Hope that you have a wonderful morning, evening, oh, thanks. I hope that you have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, night, whatever time of day it is for you. And I will see you all tomorrow with episode 240, oh my gosh, of Top Tumblr Memes. Peace out, guys.